Good afternoon, or good morning, I should say, friends. We're delighted to have you here. We have so many friends in the audience. Thank you for taking the time to be with us. And as soon as the group in the gallery makes its way in here, you will see one very full room. I'm Stephen Norper. I'm the Senior Director for Policy here and a professor at Columbia. And uh, one thing that my good friend Victor Cha, who is in the adjacent room and will join us shortly, uh, and I do is uh, speak quite a bit about Korea sports uh, and diplomacy and what that has meant uh, for Korea uh, as well as the world. And clearly when we think back to the 30th anniversary now of the Seoul Summer Games, Korea has come a long way. And I had the pleasure this summer of going to Pyeongchang. And let me tell you, incredible. I cannot say enough about how wonderfully it's laid out, uh, about the thought that has gone into it, uh, about, frankly, the passion connected. And you really see it in spades around Pyeongchang. And the brilliance of having a village for the downhill and, and the snow events, and then connecting in just a short period by high-speed rail to a coastal area with the wonderful, wonderful ice arenas. And let me tell you, that hockey arena and that uh, short skate stadium were ready to go the day I saw them. So when you look at the modern history of the Olympic Games, I don't think anyone has been so prepared so early and come in at such a reasonable cost as our friends in Pyeongchang. And so they have a great cheering section here at the Korea Society where we promote Korea and educate Americans on Korea now for 60 years. And so this is a very special start uh, to our new season and we would like to very much welcome our friends. They have come a long way. You may have seen them in Athens with the torch. You may have seen them yesterday at the United Nations and the passage of that resolution in support of the games. And so it's just an incredibly exciting time as we look toward February and the opening games of the games uh, on February 9th. We invite you back here to the Korea Society for that. We will be having breakfast at the Olympics, for those of you who remember Innsbruck. That was a tagline then. And we will be doing that here because that will, of course, be the evening time uh, in Pyeongchang. And so come have breakfast with us and join us for the opening ceremonies. So I would like to now call up the president of the Korea Society, President Tom Byrne, and uh, he will welcome both Minister Do and President Lee, as well as some, as some of our other special guests. Thank you for coming today. Well, thank you, Steve, and uh, welcome to the Korea Society, everybody. Uh, so uh, today I'd like to welcome the Honorable Lee Hee Bum, uh, President and CEO of the Pyeongchang uh, 2018 Olympic and Paralympic Organizing Committee. Um, I would also like to welcome the Minister of Culture, Sports, and Tourism, the Honorable Do Jong Hwan. Um, and I understand uh, the Minister will have some comments for us. And this is indeed is a special honor for us to have uh, the Minister of Culture, Sports, and Tourism with us today. So, um, Minister Do, for you. Good morning. I'm Good morning. I'm Do jong Minister of Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism. 어제 하이라인 파크를 걸었습니다. 문화를 통한 도시 재생에 대해 배우기 위해 그 길을 걸었지만 뉴욕의 가을은 아름다웠습니다. 아름다운 사람은 아름다운 가을을 지니고 있다고 합니다. 이 가을에 여러분 안에 있는 아름다운 가을을 만나시기 바랍니다. The day before yesterday, I walked along the High Line to learn about the city recovery plan, their culture. Uh, and there, I enjoyed the beautiful scenery and picturesque view there. I believe the man with beautiful mind can enjoy this brief season. So I hope you can enjoy this brief season with, of this year. 아름다운 뉴욕에서 
한미 양국 간의 우애와 협력을 상징하는 코리아 소사이어티가 주관하는 평창 올림픽 특별 세션에 참석하게 되어서 매우 기쁩니다. I am very delighted to attend this special session for Pyeongchang 2018 here in New York. The Korea Society, the host of today's event, represents mutual cooperation and friendship between Korea and the U.S. Korea Society가 1957년에 창립했다고 들었습니다. 어, 오랜 연륜만큼 한국과 미국 상호 간의 이해와 협력 그리고 우애가 더욱 깊어졌으면 좋겠습니다. I was told that this year marks the 60th anniversary of its foundation in 1957. So I hope that mutual understanding, cooperation, and friendship between South Korea and the U.S. will grow further, building on a long history of Korean society. 자리를 마련해 주신 토마스 본 회장님과 코리아 소사이티 관계자 여러분께 감사의 말씀을 올립니다. I thank President Thomas Byrne and the members of the Korea Society for hosting this meaningful event. 저는 어제 UN 평창 동계 올림픽 휴전 결의안 채택의 현장에 대한민국 대표 자격으로 참석하였습니다. 지금 세계 곳곳에서 벌어지는 테러와 국지 전쟁 그리고 인종 갈등은 역설적으로 그 어느 때보다 평화와 인권 그리고 공존의 가치가 얼마나 중요한지를 가르쳐 주고 있습니다. At the UN General Assembly I attended yesterday as a member of the Korean delegation, I witnessed the historic moment of adopting the UN Olympic Truth Resolution for Pyeongchang 2018. Terrorist attacks, local wars, or ethnic conflicts erupting from many places around the world ironically give lessons the importance of peace. Human rights and coexistence among people. 저는 이러한 전 세계인들의 희망을 발견하는 자리로 평창 동계 올림픽을 제시하고자 합니다. Again, against this backdrop, I would like to present Pyeongchang 2018 as a place where people around the world can hope, find hope for realizing their aspiration and achieving solidarity among humanity. 2018 평창 동계 올림픽은 1988년 서울 올림픽 이후 30년 만에 한반도에서 다시 개최되는 올림픽입니다. 또한 2018 평창, 2020 도쿄, 2022 베이징으로 이어지는 동북아시아 릴레이 올림픽의 첫 주자이기도 합니다. 평창 2018 is the second Olympic and Paralympic Games to be staged in the, on the Korean Peninsula 30 years after the Seoul 1988 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Pyeongchang 2018 is also a first of three consecutive games, including Tokyo 2020 and Beijing 2022, to be held in relay in Northeast Asia. 이처럼 소중한 평창 올림픽에 대해 대한민국 정부가 다짐하고 추구하는 몇 가지 비전을 말씀드리고자 합니다. Considering the value of opportunity that it can bring, the Korean government has established its vision for Pyeongchang 2018. 2018 평창 동계 올림픽은 무엇보다 평화 올림픽을 실천하는 기회입니다. 어제 유엔 총회에서 채택된 평창 동계 올림픽 휴전 결의안에서는 2018 평창 동계 올림픽 개막 7일 전부터 2018 평창 동계 올림픽 패럴림픽 종료 7일 이후까지 유엔 회원국들이 올림픽 휴전을 준수할 것을 촉구하고 있습니다. First of all, we will make Pyeongchang 2018 a peaceful Olympic Games. The resolution adopted by the UN General Assembly yesterday urges the member states to observe Olympic truths throughout the period from the seventh day of the start of the 23rd Olympic Winter Games until the seventh day following the end of the 12th Paralympic Winter Games. 총 51일간의 대회 기간은 전 세계가 갈등과 분쟁을 멈추고 평화의 가치를 생각하고 인류애를 깊이 되새기는 의미 있는 시간이 될 것입니다. Accordingly, the games taking place in Pyeongchang will offer 51 days of the Olympic Truths where conflict cease, humanity prevails, and the message of peace resonates 
deeply in the heart of people. 올림픽 참가를 통해 공정한 경쟁과 협력 그리고 동료애를 체험함으로써 고대 올림픽 정신이 제시했던 인류애와 평화를 실천하려는 것입니다. Throughout the games, the spirit of fair play, cooperation, and comradeship will be put into practice by the participating countries. By doing so, the countries will take one step closer toward peace and humanity that ancient Olympic Games pursued. 한반도에서 평화 올림픽의 결정체는 북한의 평창 올림픽 참가입니다. 긴장 상태의 한반도가 올림픽을 통해 대화와 협력의 계기를 마련했으면 좋겠습니다. In the heart of our efforts to achieve a peaceful Olympic Games lies participation of North Korea. I hope that the games will help lay the foundation for dialogue and cooperation on the Korean Peninsula, which is going through political tension. 북한 NOC가 원한다면 IOC와 국제 스포츠 연맹이 함께 북한 선수의 올림픽 참가에 대한 해결책을 찾을 준비가 되어 있다는 토마스 바흐 IOC 위원장의 말처럼 평창 동계 올림픽의 문은 북한에게도 당연히 열려 있습니다. IOC President Thomas Bach once mentioned the IOC, together with the International Federation, is always ready to find a solution for such a participation, should the NOC of the DPRK so wish. The door for Pyeongchang 2018 is open for all countries, and North Korea is not an exception. 북한 선수단의 참가는 한반도 긴장 완화와 동북아의 협력, 그리고 세계 평화 증진에 기여할 것을 확신합니다. It is my firm belief that whether it will be a joint march to the Olympic Stadium or a joint training squad, any form of participation by North Korea will continue to easing the tension on the Korean Peninsula, cooperation in Northeast Asia, and promotion of world peace. 둘째, 평창 동계 올림픽은 안전 올림픽을 지향합니다. 대한민국은 테러 위협으로부터 가장 안전한 나라라고 자부합니다. 1988년 서울 올림픽, 2002년 한일 월드컵, 2011년 대구 세계 육상 선수권 대회 등 국제 스포츠 이벤트를 안전하게 치른 경험이 있습니다. The second vision that Pyeongchang 2018 aspires to achieve is a safe and secure Olympic Games. The Republic of Korea is considered to be one of the safest countries from the terrorist attacks. It proudly staged a series of international mega sporting events, including the Seoul 1988 Olympic and Paralympic Summer Games, the 2002 FIFA World Cup, and 2011 IAAF World Championship in a safe and secure environment. 최근 한반도의 정세에 대해 우려하는 목소리가 있지만 대한민국 정부는 한반도 평화 정착이라는 목표와 원칙 아래서 평창 동계 올림픽을 가장 안전하고 편안한 대회로 치를 것입니다. Despite concerns raised over the recent political situation on the Korean Peninsula, the Korean government will make Pyeongchang 2018 the most safe and secure games under the goal of settling the peace on the Korean Peninsula. 세 번째, 평창 동계 올림픽은 사람 중심 참여 중심의 올림픽으로 치르겠습니다. 6,500여 명의 선수단, 5만여 명의 스포츠 관계자와 취재진, 그리고 수많은 관람객들이 평창 동계 올림픽의 주인공입니다. 대회를 87일 앞둔 지금 한반도에서는 7,500명의 성화 주자들이 2018km를 2018km 봉송 구간을 열정과 희망, 사랑을 나누며 대한민국 방방곡곡을 순회하고 있습니다. Third, we envision Pyeongchang 2018 as a people-centered games that puts priority in engagement. At the heart of Pyeongchang 2018 lies people united with their passion including 6,500 athletes, 50,000 sports officials, and press and tens of thousands of spectators. With 87 days left until the start of the games, 7,500 torch bearers are joining through every nook and cranny of the Korean Peninsula along the torch relay route, sharing their hope, passion, and friendship with people. 
대한민국의 전통적인 우방인 미국이 2018 평창 동계올림픽을 적극 지지하고 있음을 잘 알고 있습니다. 지난 11월 1일 뉴욕의 상징인 타임스퀘어에서 평창 동계올림픽 미국 국가대표 선수단의 출정식 로드트 평창이 개최되었고 11월 7일에는 한미 정상회담에서도 대회 성공 개최를 위한 미국의 지지를 재확인한 바 있습니다. Pyeongchang 2018 is receiving strong support from the U.S., our long-time ally. On the 1st of November, the kick-off ceremony of Team USA was launched under the theme of Road to Pyeongchang at Times Square, the heart of New York. A few days later on, the 7th of November, the commitment of the U.S. for the success of Pyeongchang 2018 was reaffirmed by the ROK and U.S. Summit. 미국의 평창 동계올림픽 지지에 다시 한번 감사드립니다. 이번 대회의 담당 부처인 문화, 문화체육관광부 장관으로서 여러분을 대한민국 알프스 평창으로 초청하고자 합니다. 평화롭고 안전하게 치러질 평창 동계올림픽에 여러분이 함께 해주시기를 기대합니다. I, therefore, would like to take this opportunity to once again express my gratitude to the U.S. for its support for PyeongChang 2018. As I briefly mentioned in the beginning, I am in charge of the Ministry of Sports, Culture, and Tourism of Korea, which has been designated as a leading government organization for PyeongChang 2018. On behalf of the organization, I would like to invite you to PyeongChang, the place we boast as the Alps of Korea. 여러분 전 세계인의 지구촌 스포츠 축제이자 평화의 제전인 2018 평창 동계올림픽에서 다시 뵙게 되기를 기대합니다. 아름다운 가을입니다. 여러분 인생의 가을과 겨울도 늘 아름다운 시간이시기를 바랍니다. 평창 2018 will be celebrated as the one of the most beautiful and safest sports event. And I hope you enjoy the beautiful scenery of the autumn. 여러분 고맙습니다. See you in Pyeongchang in next February. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you, um, Minister. Um, it's also our pleasure to uh, today to welcome the Kangwon Province Vice Governor uh, Song Sak Du. Uh, uh, over here. And also um, a special uh, a treat, uh, we have the Paralympic sled hockey star athlete, uh, Jung Sung Hwan with us today as, as well. Um, I'll show you somewhere. <laughs> um, and uh, I certainly share your sentiments that I do hope uh, North Korea does send its uh, athletes to the Pyeongchang Olympics. That would be a very nice gesture for world peace. Um, so uh, it's a great moment for sport and of course for uh, the Republic of Korea. And so please enjoy today's celebration at the Korea Society. Um, we've special ice cream from a local Korean American entrepreneur, uh, Nuna, uh, that will be served at the conclusion. And um, Nun the Nuna's ice cream uh, company has specially named two of its flavors. One is called the gold medal sesame flavor, and the other one is uh, sweet as ihi bum uh, flavor, uh, named after the, uh, of course, uh, President Lee of the Olympic Organizing Committee. So you've uh, you've achieved fame in your short visit to New York on this trip. You have a ice cream named after you. So thank you very much, President Lee. Yeah. So next is President Lee, right? Good. Thomas Byrne, President of Korea Society, and uh, members of Korea Society, and uh, friends, uh, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. 
First of all, I would like to congratulate to have a, a very brand new office to move to the brand of his uh, new buildings. I've been to Korea Society many times uh, uh, as uh, chairman of Korea International Trade Association time ago. Uh, at that time, uh, also as a chairman of Korea Chorus FTA, Korea US uh, Free Trade, chairman of Korea uh, Korea US Free Trade uh, uh, Industry Alliance. And then before that, I was uh, uh, as a chair, uh, as a Minister of Commerce, Industry, and uh, Energy of Republic of Korea. But this time, I'm here as a President of Pyeongchang uh, 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games and also uh, Winter Paralympic Games. Thank you for joining us here today uh, after adoption of Olympic Truth Resolution for the Pyeongchang 2018 uh, Games uh, that took place. Uh, yesterday at the United Nations. As uh, Elena Roosevelt said, it isn't enough to talk about peace. One must believe in it. And it isn't enough to believe in it. One must work at it. The resolution adopted yesterday entitled the Sports for Peace and Development building a peaceful and better world through sports and Olympic ideal. The General Assembly of the United Nations has established a tradition to adopt the Olympic Truth Resolution every two years since 1993, to revive the ancient Greek tradition to seize all conflict. The period of Olympic Truth begin seven days prior to the opening of the Olympic Winter Games and ends on the seventh day following the closing of Paralympic Winter Games is the legal terms, by legal terms. But in reality, as of, today, as of yesterday, United Nations by consensus, uh, by all 193 uh, countries consensus, and also co-sponsored by 157 countries, uh, uh, the truth resolution is a de facto ineffective as of yesterday, which is very important, uh, not only for Korean Peninsula, but also the rest of the world. It also calls for ensuring a safe passage of the participating athletes and uh, uh, accredited persons to travel to and from the Olympic Games. The resolution also includes the General Assembly's uh, strong expectation that Pyeongchang Games will be a significant opportunity to foster an atmosphere of peace on the Korean, Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast Asia. Peace has always been uh, uh, at the heart of our games, and we hope that Pyeongchang will inspire the younger generation and deliver the Olympic values of respect, friendship, and peace to the world. So our dream for hosting the Pyeongchang uh, uh, Olympic Winter Games is here. When we won the bid back in 2011, July the 7th in uh, Durban, uh, South Africa, our nation was filled with the passion, built from memories of the 1988 Summer Olympic Games held in Seoul. We are now just 87 days away from the start of the first ever Winter Games in Korea. Next year, Korea will host the Olympic and Paralympic Games, and it will be the largest winter festival in the world. Approximately 6,500 athletes and officials from more than 90 countries will compete for 102 gold medals. More than 40 head, head of states, uh, as of today, have also expressed their intent to attend the Games, which is also the biggest number. Over the years, there have been many challenging moments. But as we finalized the preparations to host the 23rd Olympic Winter Games, I can tell you with confidence that 
there have always been a few certainties in our vision to host the great games. Firstly, we have a proven track record of being ready on time. Secondly, we have a wonderful hospitality. And we now, we know that anyone who comes to Korea will have a great experience. We have completed construction of our 12 competition venues and all of them were tested during our 25 test events hosted over the past two winter seasons. The Olympic villages, and also not only the athletic village, but also media village, are both complete. And the International Broadcasting Center was handed over to the Olympic Broadcast Service in May. Uh, not only the OBS, which is subsidiary of IOC, and also NBC of the United States is moving their package to uh, our International Broadcast Center. The Olympic Stadium was used for the first time weeks during part, uh, part of the 100 days to go, which was November the 1st last week. Uh, celebration and is ready to host the opening and the closing ceremonies. Our new laws and railways connecting Incheon Airport to uh, venue uh, cities to Pyeongchang and Gangneung are also complete and high-speed train will be open to the public in December. With the high-speed train, it will take uh, just one hour from Seoul to the venue uh, cities. The International Olympic Committee and the international federations have expressed their satisfaction with our facilities. And the athletes have praised our fields of play. Aside from the world class sporting event, the Cultural Olympiad will be a festival that will add color and excitement and the chance for people to learn about Korean culture and enjoy our great food and hospitality. The Olympic frame, one of the most iconic symbols of peace, is now 14 days into its journey across the Korea. And it will arrive at the Olympic Plaza on the 9th of February next year. The torch relay with this uh, frame of let's everyone shine is uh, giving the people of Korea the chance to experience the games firsthand. We hope it can light the fire within them and speak, spark an interest and excitement for winter sports and uh, winter games. We know that the world is watching. The current political tensions, as uh, Minister Do uh, mentioned, on Korean Peninsula very carefully. We continue to work very closely with all relevant authorities and stakeholders to ensure we can deliver a safe and secure games for everyone involved. I will end with a quote from Nelson Mandela, who said, Quote, sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great. You can be that generation, unquote. I believe that Pyeongchang 2018 is an important platform for peace and where the next generation can learn to be great. They can learn the importance of teamwork, respect, friendship, and that sport is a wonderful tool that can bring the world together. Thank you for your support of the games and thank you for helping us to spread the message of Pyeongchang 2018 and our hope for, for the games filled with passion, excitement, and one also of peace. Thank you very much. And my spokes, uh, spokeswoman will uh, explain about our games more in detail. Thank you. Uh, Nancy.
Bob, please. Good morning. My name is Nancy Park, and I am the spokesperson for international media at the PyeongChang 2018 Winter Olympic and Paralympic Organizing Committee. It's a pleasure to give this briefing to you uh, about our games. Of course, it's a very significant uh, time for us yesterday as we adopted the Olympic Truce Resolution, so it's a very special time for us, and we're uh, very pleased to be invited by the Korean Society to give this presentation. So this briefing will consist of the overview of the games, uh, the test events that we had over the past two winter seasons to test our operations, and also upcoming milestones. So our games overview. Pyeongchang won the bid to host the, winter, uh, the Olympic Winter Games on our third attempt back in 2011. We rejoiced when our dream was achieved to bring the games back to our country 30 years after we hosted the Summer Games back in 1988. Hosting the Olympic Winter Games will be a historic chapter in the history of our country. Next February, we will host approximately 6,500 athletes and entourage around the world to compete in 102 events. With the addition of six new events for our games, this makes Pyeongchang the largest Winter Games ever to date. This also marks the largest number of female athletes and also a record number of mixed events. The Paralympics will also take place over a 10-day period next March, and approximately 1,500 athletes and entourage will be around the world to participate. When, the, when we won the bid many years ago, we really believed that the International Olympic Committee believed in our vision of new horizons. The aim of the Games is to open up new horizons in Korea and Asia and, and beyond by connecting the great passion of athletes and spectators. With our vision in mind, we aim to develop winter sports in Korea and Asia, leaving a lasting legacy in the host region by transforming Pyeongchang and Gangwon province into an Asian sports hub and also a year-round destination as an Olympic legacy. This will be a part of the Olympic legacy for Pyeongchang 2018. To help us achieve this, we have continually focused on five key objectives, economy, culture, peace, environment, and ICT. In line with our vision of New Horizons and as part of our efforts to uh, be awarded the Winter Olympics, Pyeongchang has hosted the Dream Program every winter since 2004. The program is for young people from countries that lack the natural environment for winter sports and also the opportunity to experience winter sports as well as to advance the Olympic movement worldwide. To date, close to 2,000 young people have participated in the program, including future Paralympians since 2011. We are very proud that many of these participants have gone on to compete in various international competitions, World Cups, the Youth Olympic Games, and also the Olympic Winter Games. Pyeongchang will also serve as the front runner for the Asian era in the Olympic movement, followed by Tokyo 2020 and Beijing 2022. This is also an opportunity to engage the younger generation to winter sport across the region by making it more accessible and also providing more opportunities for participation in winter sports. Pyeongchang 2018 is also the most compact winter games. Venues are located in two clusters and are within a 30 minute distance of Olympic Plaza. Pyeongchang Mountain Cluster is for snow sports and sliding sports, whereas the Gangneung Coastal Cluster is for ice sports. In the Pyeongchang Mountain Cluster, we have seven competition venues, five of which are existing venues and two are new. The Gangneung Coastal Cluster has five competition venues. One of these is an existing venue and four are new. The construction of the high-speed train has already been completed in June of this year and is currently undergoing testing. It will be fully operational and open to the public in December of 2017. In fact, this week, media are on the test run for the track and will be experiencing and reporting to the world on how we are prepared to host the Games. Travel time from Incheon International Airport to the Pyeongchang Mountain Cluster and Gangneung Coastal Cluster will be significantly reduced. <coughs> The progress of our six new competitions is going very well, as you can see. We are very pleased to say, as President Lee has mentioned, that we are complete. And as of November, this is our average completion rate. And as the country with the fastest internet speeds in the world, we boast more mobile phone users than actual population of the country. 
With the latest cutting edge technologies, our games will showcase innovative services to the whole world. Pyeongchang will be the first games to offer 5G telecommunication services and customized services to greatly enhance convenience and pleasure. 5G is currently 20 times faster than 4G and is also a great opportunity for new innovative broadcasting services. The Cultural Olympiad is a celebration of all things Korean that will run alongside the games. It will feature a host of local talents across music, drama, arts, and dance. As part of the Cultural Olympiad, we will have cultural events taking place every day in the games and also in various live sites across the country. This is also very important for us to showcase Korean culture to international visitors around the world and also local fans and communities to come together and celebrate this heritage as a part of this very special occasion. The recruitment of volunteers in Korea and, the, and around the world was completed last year. And the high level of interest we, really, we received really showed the excitement and passion for the games. Close to 92,000 people from 145 countries applied for 22,000 volunteer positions. This includes over 12,000 applications from outside of Korea. The volunteer and staff for our games will be known as the Passion Crew. These are our very popular mascots for the games and the Paralympic Games. Suhorang is a mythical white tiger representing protection and trust and will protect the athletes and spectators and everyone that will attend the games. Pandabi is an Asiatic black bear, so-called moon bear, and will give the spirit of resolution and strong will to per participants at the Paralympic Games. These are our very uh, special medals that we unveiled uh, also in New York and in Seoul simultaneously back in September. They are based on the Korean alphabet motif and the Pyeongchang Olympic Winter Games engraved on the side. The metal lanyards are made from traditional Korean fabric. Back on February 9th, which marked our one year to go, we unveiled our Olympic torch for the Games. 7,500 torchbearers will carry the Olympic flame across the country for 2,018 kilometers over 101 days. At the lighting of the Olympic flame ceremony, Park ji Sung, a renowned football athlete, was the first Korean to begin the torch relay in Greece. Here with us are all the presidents. Here with us at this ceremony were the presidents of all national Olympic committees for the host countries of future Olympic Games in a show of solidarity for support for Pyeongchang 2018. After a week of traveling in Greece, the Olympic flame was handed over to Pyeongchang 2018 in Athens. And here, the president of the Hellenic Organizing Committee is handing over the flame to President Lee. On November 1st, the Olympic flame arrived in Korea just as we celebrated our 100 days to go. Here, Yona Kim, two-time Olympian and gold medalist, brings the flame officially with our prime minister. Our first torchbearer was Yu Yong, an aspiring figure skater and national champion. She's actually too young to compete in Pyeongchang, but she will probably compete at the next uh, Olympic Games. So as you can see here, the torch relay is in progress across the country. It's a great opportunity to create excitement and engage local people to become excited for the games uh, and show their passion for what we are expecting to be the best Olympic Games ever. In September, we launched our second phase of domestic online ticket sales, and offline sales are now available at various ticket centers across the country. Outside of Korea, tickets are available through authorized ticket resellers, or you can also buy tickets on our global website. Here you can see the commemorative coins and banknotes, which are also very popular. The 2001 note is actually sold out, so it's very impossible to uh, get this. POCOG has received overwhelming support and backing from an impressive list of athletes, dignitaries, and entertainers, all keen to share the passion of Pyeongchang 2018. Notable names include the President of the Republic of Korea, Moon Jae-in, Kim Yona, Lindsay Vaughn, Heinz Ward, Cho Sumi, Park Ji Sung, and of course, our, one of our most famous Paralympians at the back, Chong Sung Hwan. We work with them to help us promote the games to our fans with images and videos for online and offline promotion. 
With regards to sponsorship, we have officially reached and gone beyond our target, and so far we have secured $857 million US. I will now go over our test events that we hosted over the past two winter seasons. Test events in the form of World Cups and World Championships are critical for the organizing committee to ensure that the venues are ready and to ensure that we are ready to host the games. It's a great opportunity to train our staff and we are very excited that we had a lot of great test events over the past two winter seasons. We will now show a video just to show you the successes of our test events. So during the past two winter seasons, we hosted 25 competition test events, 5,500 athletes from 90 countries traveled to Pyeongchang to participate in our events. We had a lot of great positive feedback from athletes and coaches, and it was an opportunity to, for us to improve our operations for the games next year. Upcoming milestones. We are months away from the opening ceremonies and we are working hard with a wide range of local and international partners and organizations to, ra to raise the profile of the games and also build the ins excitement inside and outside of Korea. It's a very exciting time for us as we move forward to the games and we are very thankful that everyone is so passionate about our games. So thank you for this opportunity to give you just a brief overview of Pyeongchang and what we're doing uh, in the months leading up to the Games. It's a very significant time for us, especially with the adoption of the, US, U, uh, the UN Truce Resolution yesterday. And we're very excited to host you and also possibly see you in Pyeongchang next year. Thank you very much. <laughs>